Hey friends, it's Alex from Vulture Culture, and today we're gonna to be looking at some of the comments you guys have left on my videos about the Korg Prologue, and in particular about the noisy oscillators and the dull sounding drive on the filter. Before we get started, please subscribe to this channel. It makes a huge difference, and I don't wanna waste your time, so let's get started. Okay, so Andrew Sinclair, if I'm reading your username correctly, says, The noise that you're talking about at around four minutes is because you have the VCOs turned all the way up. I've noticed that they get pretty noisy past three o'clock-ish. Okay, so I have an initialized patch here. Let's record it at nine o'clock, noon, three o'clock, and all the way, which is about five o'clock. And then we'll do it again with the master volume over here turned up a bit, maybe to three o'clock. And we'll see if we can detect any difference in the noise profile of the oscillator based off of that. So let's give it a little test here. So we're gonna start with uh, nine o'clock, noon, three, all the way. Same idea again, but with the master turned up. Now what we can do is, I'm in Reaper here, is I'm going to dynamically split these items here and that will remove all of the silence and we can move these all next to each other like this. And now I'm going to go to my extensions, to the SWS extension loudness, which will allow me to normalize all of these to negative 23. And now what we can do is we can listen to all of these and see if there's any difference in the timbre or if we hear more more noise on the louder ones. Uh, so let's see what they sound like. So what we can glean from that is to the naked ear, they all sound pretty much identical. Looking at the spectrum analyzer, I see nothing to indicate that there's more noise uh, to the signal. Is a difference though, is on the ones where the volume had to be boosted quite a bit, um, you can hear a lot more noise after the note is released. So if I just grab this real quick. That's where we boosted uh, by 27 decibels to get the same volume in post versus if we listen over here, and this is where it's only boosted 10 decibels, the noise is a lot quieter. So I would actually say if I had to make a guess on the architecture of the synthesizer, I believe that when they're all the way open, that is full volume, but I don't believe it is boosted volume. So there's nothing that is causing more distortion or hiss. And in fact, you're going to get more noise by turning the VCOs down counterintuitively, being that when you boost the volume in post, you're going to get hear, hear more of the, the analog hiss and everything uh, in between held notes. So you should definitely Definitely uh, have the VCOs up as much as you want um, and not worry about the oscillators getting noisier past noon or three o'clock. That doesn't seem to do anything, nor does boosting the volume over here with the master volume. Again, I believe these uh, pots are actually attenuators. They're just removing volume. They're never adding volume in a way that causes distortion or hiss or anything like that. Okay, Metal Plated Face Job says, If you don't want the filter getting too dark when you push the distortion, you have to push the mixer levels less. Right now you're maxing them out, which causes the filter to roll off the high end like a tube would. This is by design and not a flaw of the sense. You should try making your patches with your mixer levels never going beyond 50% per oscillator. The master out knob should also be kept at around the same. This will give you a more modern sound overall out of the synth and will cause less roll off in the high end when you engage the distortion. We'll keep the noise level down as well and you should have no issue with getting signal level to your dot an average of negative 18 decibels. Okay, so let's try that out. So same idea here. What we're going to do is we're going to try the sound of the VCO with the drive engaged at 50% and 100% with different volumes. So this is just the naked oscillator. This is a drive 50% with the oscillator at noon. This is with the oscillator at, let's call it five o'clock, but maxed all the way out. Back to noon, drive 100%. And now maxed out. Same idea, dynamic split that. And then what we can do is drag these all over. And then one more time with the loudness is analyze the selected items and normalize them to negative 23. And let's see the difference this time. So we're starting again with the naked oscillator and then it's going to be uh, with the VCO at noon uh, and then the VCO all the way up with the drive at 50% and then noon and then all the way up with the drive at 100%.
Okay, so this is interesting. So when you're listening to the difference between um, noon and maxed out with the drive halfway, so let's just listen to that one more time, just these two. They're pretty close, but there does seem to be a little dip in this area around 5K. See, it's at the tip of my mouse here there i mean it's it's pretty subtle but there is a difference but there's a huge difference on the drive all the way up uh between uh noon and all the way out look at the difference there so i'm going to try to get the mouse to right about there look at that is a huge difference in cutoff at above 5k or so Okay, so what I think is going on here, if uh, the architecture of the synth has been explained to me correctly, is the way it creates filter drive is by feeding the signal back through the filter. Okay, so to explain the point here, I'm going to add a, a low cut filter at 5K to just the naked oscillator. What I'm gonna do is add a second high cut filter to 5K and you should be able to hear a difference here. All right, so again, this is without, this is with just one high cut filter and with two. So what I believe is happening in the synth is that because the synth creates the drive by feeding the signal back through the filter and then probably attenuating it after that, uh, it's actually changing the low pass filter from a two pole low pass to a four pole low pass. So what that means is, is that it's going to more sharply cut off the filters above the cutoff frequency. Tube distortion, diode distortion, that all creates harmonics above the fundamental frequency. There's no such thing as subharmonics. And what's happening here is not that the drive is distorting more like a tube. What's happening is, is that it's changing the filter from a two pole to a four pole, creating a darker sound overall. And the more that you turn up the, the more signal you feed it, period, the more that that is increasing that effect because more is getting sent through the loop back. So this is a really interesting way to set up the drive on the filter instead of just forcing more through from the front. And what it does is it actually changes the nature of the filter as well as adds harmonics, um, but the harmonics actually get scooped out more. So it's a really interesting, cool, neat feature that I didn't even realized was in the prologue that the drive is effectively changing the very nature of the filter. So anyways, I wanna say thank you guys so much for your comments. They're really insightful and interesting and it's been a lot of fun to discover uh, and do a little bit of science with the prologue to figure out what's really going on under the hood here. I wanted to send a big shout out to both of you guys and everybody else who's been commenting on my videos on the prologue and Omnisphere. It's been really encouraging to see all of the community engagement around these videos. If you think I got anything wrong or you have any additional ideas or questions for me about the prologue, please put it in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.